So uh, why can't you, why can't black men be strong? Because I think we're dealing with a different generation of women nowadays. They don't really see it. Did you look at the last president you had? <laughs> you can chuckle all you want to, but he inspired people to, to riot the, on the Capitol, didn't he? Yeah, you're right. Obama couldn't even, you know, what did Obama get us? Don't tell me about the generations. See, this is where black women make a valid critique. It is our responsibility not to worry about the motherfucking generation, the price of tea in China, gas, how tight your shoes are. We got to grab our balls and be fucking men. Even the ones that weren't raised. I wasn't raised this way. You have to make yourself a man worth being followed. And you don't do it with nice words. You do it by grabbing your balls and getting ready to fight. Because if we can't fight our women, how the fuck we going to fight the world? They don't respect us because our women don't respect us. I agree. You know how many times I've been in corporate America where people have asked me, how do you put up with that Janice is a hell of a spitfire, such and so forth. They laugh at us. I've been on golf courses and in in boardrooms. I could never put up with a woman like Brenda. Wow, my Helen is so sweet. She's a spitfire. That, that spitfire is a way for saying uh, something else. They hold our manhood cheap. Because we because we are we are so weak that our women are walking around with long colored fingernails, furry slippers, pajamas and bonnets, weighing more than men at our height, cussing at us. And you want to be nice to that? Fuck that. 